what is up guys welcome back to another video my name is nash and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to use the filmora thumbnail creator now this is not going to create a separate png file that's going to be the thumbnail this is going to create a video thumbnail that is attached to the video so if you're going to upload the video to youtube that's going to be the def default thumbnail that's going to be on the video so it's attached to the video in a sense so let's go ahead and get started all right so as you can see here i have filmora open and let's say that this is the video that i was editing and i've finished editing the video i'm ready to export uh, this video i'm going to go ahead and hit export up here go ahead and hit export and as you can see here we have a new feature that says thumbnail right here so this is where you're going to be able to uh, create and edit your thumbnail so go ahead and hit uh, edit all right, so this little window is gonna pop up. And if you look on the top here, you're gonna see that there's two options. You have from video and you have from local, right? So let's go ahead and start with from local because this is probably the easiest option. So if you created a thumbnail in Photoshop, or in Canva, if you just have a thumbnail that's already saved, this is how you're gonna be able to import it and add it to the video. So go ahead and click local. And you can pretty much click, drag, and drop the thumbnail here. Let's go ahead and drop this one in here. There we go. So now we have our video thumbnail in here. Go ahead and hit uh, edit. So this can allow you to add some edits on here. Once you're done, go ahead and hit save. And there you go. Now you have this video thumbnail here. Now there's an option down here that says add uh, the thumbnail to the beginning of the video. That means it's going to be the first frame of the video. That's going to be this thumbnail here. Okay. Now another option here is going to be, let me go ahead and exit out of this, uh, exit out of this as well. So we can start a new project, a uh, new project. Yeah, I'm going to go over to my stock media and I'll grab one of the videos that I've downloaded. I'm going to grab this one. Let's say this is our video. We're done editing the video. I'm going to go ahead and hit export. Go ahead and hit export. I'm going to go ahead and hit edit. Now, the second option is going to be from video. That's if you do not have a thumbnail that's already prepared, right? So you're going to uh, go from video. Now, from video, it's going to generate, you know, kind of like a really good, uh, 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 you know, freeze frame screenshot of what you have in the video. And that is what you are going to be able to use as the uh, the thumbnail itself so it takes a while to generate here depending on how much footage you have as you can see here it generated three different options here that i can use uh, let's go with uh, i think i'll go with the second one here right so once you select uh, the frame that you want to be the uh, thumbnail go ahead and hit edit down here all right so this is going to take you to the edit page there's a couple of things here on the edit page that you can uh, use to start editing your thumbnail the first one is going to be um, if you want to add text, obviously, go ahead and click this and you're going to be able to add a text on here. OK. Maybe something like that. All right. So once you add your text, you're going to see that we have our text properties over here on the uh, right side of the screen. So this is going to allow you to change things uh, like the font itself. If you want to scale it up, scale it down, change the position. If you want to change the color of the font, if you want to add an effect, change the opacity, this is where you are going to be able to do that uh, on this side here. OK. Now we also have some presets here that you can use, right? These are pretty cool because the work is already done for you. So if you select one of these, it's going to apply to the text itself. Look at that. Pretty good. Now, another option is going to be if you hit customize on the, on this side here, it's going to allow you to customize the preset that you chose. So if I chose uh, this first one here, I go to customize. I can go over here and kind of like tweak uh, some of the things that I have here. Uh, if I wanted to change maybe the color to uh, a red, this is where I'm going to be able to do that here. So this allows you to customize the preset that you selected. OK. Uh, so if you go back to template here, uh, there's going to be some default templates for thumbnails. I don't think it's a lot in here, but hopefully in the future you get more updates uh, when it comes to, you know, how many t of these uh, thumbnail templates that you have. So if you go over to um, downloads, see that these are some of the templates that I've downloaded in the past. Uh, I'm going to go over to uh, vlog so these are going to be templates that you can use right to uh, add to what you already have uh, so if you go to this food there's music uh, we have family how to and promo okay so if i was going to go to let's say let's do vlog here this i wanted to use um this one here is a template i'll go ahead and download this right it may take a while 
but once you have it so click on it it's gonna apply to the video itself right let me remove uh, the text that i added earlier so this is a template here you can see that i still have my background that i used but it just adds these uh you know the template features so if i was going to select something like this here let's try this one this is obviously much more visible here right and go ahead and hit change so this one kind of like uh, overpowers my background just because that's kind of like the template it is. But if I use something like this over here, uh, give it a second change, right? You can see that I still have my background and it adds those template elements on top of my background. So this is how you can use uh, these templates here. Uh, there's not a lot, but this is probably a good place to get started. You know, if you don't know what you are doing, right? So another option here is going to be to add an image. So if you want to import other images, maybe it's a logo or something like that, you can go ahead and hit import image. And this can allow you to import an image to add on top of this. Now over here, you can see that we have a couple of settings here, such as if you want to delete stuff from here you can use this uh, trash can here you can undo and redo you can also crop um, you know uh, pictures in here right and you can also if you want to replace this thumbnail so let's say you're like well I kind of like want to use one I already have saved you can go ahead and hit replace thumbnail it will take you back to the uh, the default screen where you can switch between from video to uh, from local okay so kind of like that here so i went back to my uh, thumbnail here now one of the cool things you can do is save templates here so, all right so we don't have a lot of uh ready-made templates but you can start creating your own templates so if you make similar videos and you know that you know you kind of like have the same theme for your thumbnails you know this is how you can do it you can save as template here and now this has been saved uh, so if you come back here, you go to custom, this is where your templates are going to be saved, right? So if you want to use it next time, just select it and it's going to apply to whatever you have over here and you can change maybe the words or, you know, the things that are subject to change on your template. So that's how you can create some default templates here. So once you're done with this, go ahead and hit save. And as you can see, this is going to apply to my video here. And you want to make sure that this uh, you select add thumbnail to the beginning of the video. That's going to be the first frame of the video. So if you upload the video to YouTube, to Instagram, to Facebook, it's usually going to capture that first frame and use that as the video thumbnail. Right. That's if you don't upload uh, a third party, uh, you know, separate thumbnail. If you're just going to upload the video, it's going to capture that first frame. And that's the thumbnail that the video is going to show, which I think is really cool you kind of like you don't you know if you're uploading videos to youtube you don't have to upload separate thumbnails you can just include it in the video and use that first frame as the thumbnail itself now that is pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching make sure to go and hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already i'll see you guys in the next one peace